here we are the next day and uh, doesn't seem to be any issues at all they're enjoying the sun and they came from direct sun uh, the wind doesn't seem to be affecting them any they're pretty stable in there pots still feel heavy so I know they're still damp This one here <clears throat> that I did at Christmas time, the buds on the branches I thought were dead are coming out, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the entire thing lives, but there's green at the top. Not too shabby. And I'll be able to uh, repot it, find out where the trunk starts. And um, maybe start bringing the branches down. I don't have wire, so I'll have to do it some old school method. Look at look at the treetops. They're turning green here now too. I don't know if you can see that. Filming with my tiny phone here, it's hard to tell what you can see and what you can't. These ones too. Look at those beautiful leaves. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Look at, look at these. It looks like a dead tree with green buds. Isn't that crazy? I thought that was crazy. But it makes me happy at the same time. They stand a chance. That's good considering they were just Christmas trees that are meant to be thrown out when they're done with. As I was moving my uh, island back into a proper position, all the minnows followed me. But, um, I noticed these guys here. Now the leaves and the bark look exactly like those two trees I picked up from the gravel pit. So I don't think these are birch. So I don't think those are birch either. Um, these might actually be um, these big brown ones here, which are alders. Which is actually kind of cool because alders are easier to manage and take care of. They're pretty tolerant, whereas I've heard birch are pretty finicky. Decided to sneak into a garden center today. And I found some... Uh, some living stonies, one at a time, ten dollars for one. This one's nice too. Mimicry plant, stone faces, ten dollars. Pretty cute. Good thing I got some already. Oh, a sedum. Whatever, neat looking. Really nice. Jades and everything. Wow. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. This is too big for you, doesn't say what it is, but we all know what that is. There's no other ones. That's what I came looking for. Oh, here's another one. They cut them back. 
They used to be super long. They must have been dying off and they cut them back. Hmm. I want to try again, but I don't know. We'll look around and see what we can find first. Oh, look at these guys. Those are neat. Very cool. Oh, what's over here? You can get a little bunch of these for $35. Hmm. <laughs> a foot planter. Haha. <laughs> Cute. Oh, look. A bonsai section. Fifty. No way. That doesn't look like that. Looks like a fig. Ouch. Is it a Fukian tea? No, it just looks like a ficus benjamina. Can't afford it anyway. These don't look like Fukian peas, but are they? Not that I can buy one, but what's it say they are? Just says bonsai. Huh. Well, huh. That's all I have to say. Huh. That's all I can oh. see. <laughs> it is pouring rain outside, so you hear it all on the greenhouse roof here. So I found some fuchsias, and there are some super really nice ones here. Try not to get everybody in the videos, but they are $4.99 each, and there are tons of different kinds. I think I'm going to get some purple ones. Somebody told me that you could use them as a bonsai, so I want to try one, just for something different. I really like these ones. I think I'm going to go for these ones. Maybe one other one. I'll show you guys later. There's too many people around right now. Look at this. The elusive plant that nobody can ever find. Oh, there's some for 20. And the larger ones are 35. Wowee. I'm not getting any because I already have lots at home. I don't think these are any different colors than what I have. But still, I'm amazed to see them. Brought my little juniper back outside. Hopefully it does good. And uh, these have been identified as alders, I believe. And don't mind... The debris falling down. <clears throat> That's ashes from the fire pit. They're burning off flyers. So here are the two fuchsias that I bought. Dollar Princess, which is really nice. Purple's my favorite color. So I got this one because the trunk is thicker-ish, sort of. So I don't know if I'll let them grow this summer and work on them in the fall. 
I don't know yet. And the other one I got is Fuchsia Electric Lights. And it looks like this. A very simple flower. It's really cute. Same color. And uh, I just grabbed the two. This one has a single stem in there. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> but it actually has a single trunk in there. That goes all the way up with no breaks and actually goes all the way up. Most of them in there were cut. So I'll probably put this in the trailer overnight. See this one here was cut or broken or whatever. So it's got a bunch of multiple tops. But it was the nicest one there. <laughs> <clears throat> So I guess I'll probably do two different styles. But I'm going to put them in the camper overnight so they don't catch a frost. I, they've been in the greenhouse, so I'm not sure if they have natural light, direct sunlight. And this thing's not looking happy. I need to... Uh... Oh, there's some new growth there. Okay, okay. I need to go in and nip all that stuff up. I still haven't decided what I want to do with it or how I want to shape it. We'll see. The buds are <clears throat> just popping on these guys. Look at this. Even these ones that look completely dead have new buds all over them. But I don't know if that means that they're going to live or that the they just have energies in the top but we'll see <clears throat> everything went crazy so i didn't get the pots built <clears throat> i'll probably try and do that tomorrow since i've got the one more day off because i've got to repot these and i've got to repot these guys And I, uh, I'm certain now that these are alders rather than birch, which is actually a good thing because um, alders are much easier to take care of <laughs> than birch are. They're much less finicky and can take trimming. I trim the ones in a bush line all the time and they come back nice. <clears throat> so I'm kind of happy about that because they're really nice looking little little trees and they um they don't grow to a full-size tree they they are like a shrub or whatever you call it that's one over there right there that's one it's about as big as they get can be a little bit bigger yeah <sighs> oh that's a weird cloud huh Anyway, <laughs> that was random, sorry. <laughs>
There's a lot I'm supposed to be doing today, but I'm not really uh, feeling up to it, so I'm going to try and just take some of the dead stuff out of this guy. And I still don't really know what I'm doing with this poor thing, other than I just wanted to save it. And I'll be repotting this today, too. I think... Uh, I think a lot of its problems are starting the roots, so first thing I'm going to do, oh, there's a lot of really crunchy dried out growth, I really hope this guy makes it, so I'm going to take out some of the inside growth and figure out where these branches can come from and if I want them. If I want them to be cathedral branches, this one might not work. But this one would. There's like a twin trunk thing happening over here. right back. I thought since we were interrupted I'd bring you in close to see these branches here and we have sort of a bunch of branches happening here. This one it's just weird I might have to cut it off but it's actually quite a big branch and all this growth in here is dry and falling off so that has me kind of worried, but we'll see. I should dig down here and see where the, uh, oh, the roots start here. Well, there's a nice big thick one here too. I can't really see that, I guess. Right there. Okay, so it's fairly close to the surface where everything starts. I will be repotting this. I just thought it would be easier to trim it first. Now I really got to decide what I want out of this tree. If I want to keep these big tall branches or not. Or if I want to chop the top down. But it's not super healthy right now, so... I have to be careful. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Who knows, but I should probably cut all that stuff out. Yes, that is a very big branch that opens up a lot of just void space here. I'm not sure. If I could make it work, Let's see what it looks like from this side. Yeah. There's going to be some major decisions to be made here. There's the other branch. And there's a few up here that would kind of work as cathedral bra branches if I went that route. They kind of all come out that way. But maybe I'm going to have to sit and just have a think. Yeah.
doesn't seem like I took all that much off. I tried to get all the dead and dying stuff off. Yes, there's still some there. And clean all the crotches and all that kind of nifty stuff. Um, before I can go any further, um, up here I didn't trim anything yet. There's a few, um, like this branch here and this one that would make an and this one too, that would make a natural new leader if I bring the bring the top down, which I probably should. And then I have to make the big choice on these branches. So I left all of these inside branches on here uh, because I can't make the decision on which branches to keep. Now this one's got a weird little fold in here. And if I stick a rock or something in there, I can probably get it to grow out. And it's kind of a neat feature, especially with like these weird little twisty branches, which I see in cedars here all the time. Now, uh, I think I have to treat this cedar. I think it has like a mildew or something like that disease, whatever it's called, powdery mildew or something. So you can still see all the stuff stuck to it from when it was wired all together when I first got it. Um, so yeah, so I gotta look up how to treat that and if I have something here to treat it and start the treatment on it. It's hard to tell what's alive and what's not alive when it comes to like stuff like this because it looks like there's some growth tips going but this stuff you can tell it's alive but yeah so I'm gonna go wash my hands wash all my tools and um, see about a treatment for this little guy And then, uh, maybe I'll stare at it for a while and see what I want to do. Maybe even remove the middle one? I don't know. I know this, getting rid of this, it's a pretty decently big branch. And I know I had you guys on hyperlapse there, but that's because the company didn't go away and... Yeah, it's easier to do shush mode. <laughs> oh, I don't know. If I cut this one away, there's going to be quite the interesting scar there. And inverse taper. Cedars around here are all pretty twisty and turny. And I love the twisty, turny, wild ones. I do have to repot this poor thing. There's lots of new buds growing all over the place on this tree. So hopefully it pulls through. But I think I have to sit back and really contemplate these major decisions. Because if I keep this branch, then I can get rid of all these little ones. But I need to shorten that branch. I already shortened it once, but I'll need to shorten it a lot more. Yeah. Alright, I better stop filming or it's going to be ridiculously long.